What up, champ? Man, what's up, man? What's going on, y'all? All good, all good. Oh, I was about just about to say, can you turn on the light, man? So how you feeling? Man, I can't complain, man. Just woke up feeling great, man. Feeling good. I what's apologize. It's so early, man. I apologize. We are the Breakfast Club of Boxing, though. Uh, no, it's all good, bro. I'm good. What's up with y'all? Talking about you, man, I was just telling them, man, that how, uh, you know, when I first met you, I can tell that over the three to, la like, three to four last years, you've, you've definitely uh, have made it a goal of yours to change. Um, I don't want to say your physical appearance. I don't know if you just changed your work ethic or you've added a strength and conditioning coach, but you definitely have leaned out. Like, physically, you look different from when I met you in the Deontay Wilder camp, you know, you're, you're more yeah. toned, you're more muscular, uh, For but sure. you're also I more did. of a seasoned fighter now as well. Yeah, all of the above, bro. I definitely, um, you know what I mean? I added the strength and conditioning coach, uh, about in 2018 and it's just been paying off, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, when I first went down there with Deontay Wilder, I was kind of, I was in between fights, you know what I mean? And I was off for a whole, what, about a whole year and a half. And I was only like 23 years old. That had me on the shelf, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I probably talked to you about all that stuff before. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I was kind of going through all that kind of stuff. So I was kind of like in a little depression. But, shit, I got about that shit now. And I'm a full force to be reckoned with, bro. Nah, I've always man, been I a force to be reckoned with, though. I see, man. You've gotten a great opportunity. I just had Lou DeBello on the show not too long ago, and, you know, he mm -hmm. confirmed that you guys have gotten a co-promotion deal with Top Rank. Obviously, yep. you're, you're going to be facing Guido Vigianella, uh January 14th. Yes, I sir. do want to ask, are you fearful that they scrapped the card after what happened to Oscar Rivas with the eye injury? Do you feel they call you and you got to step up to the plate to take on a Jogba? Is that something that you've even considered? Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. I definitely considered the latter. I definitely considered uh, uh, stepping up and fighting the job, but absolutely. So you think that it's a possibility they ask you to do that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I think they, I think they will. You know what I mean? Uh, if they don't want to scratch the card, I'm willing to face it. Wow. Do you think that needs to go back to... And, and I hate to be the one to bring up money. My my audience going to be like, man, you supposed to be a boxing fan, but shit, I got to ask. Like, or, same contract? It's just different opponent? Or do you got to go back to the negotiation table? I mean, um, you know, uh, you know, this is a boxing business. This is an amateur boxing where we just boxing for, you know, for pride and... Yeah, we, we we still fight for pride and legacy and all of that stuff. But on top of that, this is a business, you know what I mean? Floyd Mayweather did not become the highest paid athlete for fighting for free, you know what I mean? Mm. So, Shaw, do you think... Do you think they're trying to line you up with Jared Anderson? Or do you think it's not that they trying, it's just inevitable because you're two top American heavyweights? I think it's inevitable, you know what I mean? I think it's inevitable. I think it's going to happen, and I think it should happen. Why not? Your promoter was saying he feels it could happen as early as next year. Do you think that's the right time? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel like I feel like it can happen next year. I, look, man, I'll fight whoever, whenever, bro. This is what I do. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no... You know, and I ain't no easy pick neither. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm coming to seek and destroy. You know what I'm saying? Just like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? I'm the truth. I ain't I ain't no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like I feel like that fight should happen. You know what I mean? And uh it could be a huge fight, I feel, if they um if they do it right, if they promote it right, I feel like that could be a huge fight. I feel like that fight can be like a um you remember how Anthony Joshua and Dylan White was before they went on to start fighting for world titles and stuff mm -hmm. like, like if the U.S. like it seemed like it's something about that U.K. market right now, man. But like, like if we was fighters in the U.K., they'll pay us a whole lot of money to fight. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, but I think it's I think it's definitely inevitable, man. Why not? 
You know what I'm saying? He's big baby. I'm big shot. You know what I'm saying? I know <laughs> that's a man. I know that's a man's boy. You know what I'm uh, saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but big shot, I ain't gonna front. Shout out to Jared. He let me go to his camp. I, I gotta go back to your camp. Cause I know you change. I could physically see you change over the last three, four years. But goddamn, that boy training. He training I'm, champ. I'm he training too, tra- baby. That, that explosiveness. My man did. So, you know, somebody broke his record yesterday purposely because Bo from B- Boxing Voice was in their gym, so they challenged him. But uh, heavyweight? No. Okay. So what you talking? What matter. you talking about? What you talking about? The double ups and shit. The double jump record. I do that. I, that's what I, I do that too. I well, uh, uh, I don't want to see it. Look, I do want to see look, it, look, but I don't want to. You know, look, I don't want you to put want, it out there. I want to see it in the call out video. That's Ooh, that's what I want to see it. Look, Ooh, look, look, like look, yo, Jared, look. I match your two hundred. How many he did? He did over one hundred and twenty, one hundred thirty, some shit. Mm. Yeah, that's good shit, man. He he look good, man. He be doing this thing. Like I can't knock that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm doing my thing too. You know what I'm saying? I feel like ain't nobody fuck with me. Mm. That's you know what I'm saying? That's post, point man. blank period. Absolutely. And honestly, like, I, I, I love how you compared uh the, the AJ and, and the Dillian, Dillian fight. White. Yeah, that's you a good analogy. That, oh, that's, I, that's, that's a phenomenal fight that before either yeah. guy got to that world title level. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like, you, man, y'all got to come. You got to come to San Diego next. I y'all got to come to San Diego, I man. want to, man. I'm telling you, I literally was just checking out the address from my messages to see how far, because I think me and Danny could probably get over there uh, for a weekend or so. Hell yeah. You know, man, little, come, little... man, come through. I'm about to, uh, we about to head to Big Brown for the last little part of my camp, but, okay. uh. But that's yeah, man. Further for us. Big, no, that's closer for us. Oh, that's actually. closer. You let me know. The, text me the times you're gonna be there, and I'm gonna make sure for for sure that I'm there. Cause I haven't seen you in a minute, but I can Not see yet, you man. on on social media that you look different. I actually picked you to beat the Rodell Booker fight by decision. I just knew it would go decision. So I need to know why you ain't knock him out. Obviously, me on the outside looking in, I just feel like you're a boxer's boxer. So. You wasn't going to go for the knockout, but I'm a better. So understand that when I make my yeah, picks, yeah, yeah. I'm gambling. Like, I'm legit gambling. So, like, it's no disrespect. I'm just going off the most likely well, outcome. Well, Roddy right Booker, he, he don't want to go down. You know what I'm saying? You can beat him. You can beat him. But he don't want to go down. Like, if you look at the fight with Philip, Philip Hegovich, he was just taking a beating. And it was just up to the ref discretion, really, to stop that fight. And it was up to my real discretion to stop that fight. Like in between rounds, they kept looking at him, especially like after the sixth and seventh round. They def they came, they was I thought they was about to stop it in between the rounds, but you know what I mean? They let him come out there for that last round. You know what I mean? And then like he kind of told me, he, he, he ain't kind of, he did, he told me, you know what I mean? He said, he said, man, carry me. Don't take me out. What? You know what I'm saying? But I still, I still done for him. You champ, know what I'm saying? Champ, hold up, man. You can't just <laughs> say that and then you went the decision. Like, so what is you saying? You really carried him? No, I didn't carry him. I just, I still was beating on him and he didn't go. He didn't go. He didn't go. Shit. Like, shit. Like, he didn't go. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, I feel like that fight, I feel like that fight was just like, um, I don't know. I just I felt like it was a good fight with a, a durable veteran, even though he's, you know, what I'm saying 40 plus years old. He turned around and knocked out a 13 and no dude in Norman Neely, yeah. like a couple weeks after that. Yeah, you know what I mean. And uh, if I wasn't, if I wasn't shit, he probably would have knocked me out too. But I'm not not shit. You know what I'm saying? I am the shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I touched him up pretty good though. I dominated him. I did everything, but. Knocked him out. You know what I'm saying? I, I think I broke his nose. He was bleeding all over the commentators. They was talking about it. You know what I'm saying? And I, I won. And he's only been stopped that one time, uh, like you and said. Was, and when you and when you go back to it, it was just like he was just still behind the high guard, like how he was doing me, and uh, taking hits. And referee just said, "Ah, oh, that's it." And he like, "Come on." He was disputing that. You know what I'm saying? If you if you look at it, you know what I'm saying? And then it was during the quarantine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
no crowd. So it was just like, ah, let's get this shit over with. For sure. So do you think I need to, I guess, I don't know, man. Does the, my thought process have to be a bit longer when considering? Because with, with the Guido fight, I do think you could stop him because of the yeah. way he fights. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't even think he on your level at all. Like, I was talking to Lou. I feel like you've been seasoned more I think with this, the fights that I they've think, given you. I think this is a top rank moment, Champ, where, where obviously now they're working with you, and this is your time for, for you to cut them. Like, in the sense, like, you going to give them a reason to cut uh, Guido. Guido, you know what I'm saying? Like, top rank. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like this is that. I feel like this yeah. is that situation, ball in your court, unless you get that call to come see F.A. Um, is there a consideration or is it an automatic yes? Oh, uh, yeah, it's, a, uh, it's all the above. It's a consideration. It's an automatic yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I say, it's a business of boxing. All they got to do is just, you know, yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? I don't really like to get all that on camera because, you know, they, ah, oh, fighters, they talking about money and all this and that. Look, man, I got two motherfucking kids. I've been pro since I was 21 years old. I, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't, I ain't, I don't even want to tell y'all. I, I talked to you about this, though, Nestor. For sure, for sure. You know what you I'm saying? Gotta, like, you ain't got to revisit it. They, they could go find the other interviews. You definitely exactly. have talked about, you know, being stagnant and you know certain, yeah, man. certain, so, certain issues or mistakes so that might have happened. You know what I mean? So they gotta come with it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm definitely gonna come with it and come get it. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like a jogger. You know, he's a one-handed fighter. Mm. That right hand. Yeah, I know he's a one-handed fighter. But he got a lot of power in that right hand, though. And I got a lot of power with my right, my left. I got a lot of power with my brain. I got a lot of power with my heart. I got a lot of power with my ability. You know what I'm saying? Through the grace of God, by the way. You know what I'm saying? So I don't fear nobody. You know what I'm saying? This is what I do. All right, Chan. Well, I got a couple questions here. James Valdez, San Antonio, Texas says, AJ versus Wilder, who wins and how? AJ versus Wilder. Uh, I feel like I feel like if Wilder connect on AJ, he could take him out. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? You know, Wilder, you know, I've been down there chopping at Deontay for the past, what, five years. You know what I'm saying? And that's like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I've been in there with Wilder for like a, for five years. You know what I mean? So I I kind of got a template of what uh, a jog book can come with. You know what I'm saying? To go back to that. But uh, to, to pick a winner in that fight, you know, I'm going to ride with my boy Deontay. I think he can take him up. Hmm. Do you think that fight ever happens? Cause man, we've been talking about that fight since I met you. Yeah, I know, man. Um, I don't know, man. They should, they should make it happen. You know, I know, I know Malik, and like I said, I know the whole camp. You know what I mean? I know they want the fight. It's just up to AJ want to fight. The money's there for those guys. I feel. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Why so, not? What's up, Pop? I got Pop with me. We in camp. We at the Airbnb right now. I got Tell my him I said, what's in. up? Yeah, it's my right hand, man. He said, what's up, baby? Yeah. I got Ruin the 504 that says... 504, Reva... New Orleans. Yeah, he says, you think the Revis injury affects your fight? Which you kind of touched on, but, you know, if you want to say further, please feel free. Yeah. I mean, I hope not. You know what I mean? I hope not. I hope it doesn't affect the whole card or anything, because... You know what I mean? I'm willing to um I'm willing to be that big dog and step up. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like I said before, you know what I'm saying? But you know, whatever's whatever, man. I'm prepared for whatever, man. This is what I do. You know what I mean? So uh I hope it don't affect you. You know what I'm saying? How long have you Cause, been Because, Because I you remember I was supposed to fight Jermaine Franklin. My first main event fight was supposed to be Jermaine Franklin when he was twenty and oh and I was fourteen and oh. On NBC Sports, y'all remember Ring City USA? Yeah, yeah of I, course. Me and, him, me and him was supposed to be main event April 22nd. He pulled out the fight four days talking about he had COVID. You know what I mean? But the week the week of that fight, the, I mean the week before that, uh, Eddie Hearn was saying that the winner of our fight 
would get the Dylan White fight. You know what I mean? But they caught COVID. They caught COVID four days. You know, you arrive when you, you know, four days out, that's the day of arrival to the venue. You know what I mean? I was getting off the plane and they like, oh, he caught COVID. Four days, Damn. like, on the day of arrival, y'all telling us he caught COVID? Uh, I smell bullshit. But back, you know what I'm saying? So, like I say, I was supposed to fight Jermaine Franklin. You know what I mean? And uh, I feel like that fight would have catapulted me to another level. You know what I mean? To possibly where I could have got that fight with Dylan White. And I would have chopped him up. But uh, what was the question to get my bad? I kind of got off. Nah, 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 nah. It was basically, did you think that the... Uh... Yeah, I hope, I hope it don't affect. Yeah, I hope, it, I hope it don't affect it at all. Nah, I hope it don't affect. Uh -huh. I got another one coming in from Houston. Uh, Brandon hey, says, I noticed a serious body transformation over the past two years. What is, mm -hmm. what is, are, no, I guess he meant, what are the staples of your diet? The staples of my diet, baked fish, baked chicken, brown rice, vegetables, white rice, vegetables, you know what I mean? And then, you know, I'm a heavyweight, so I still kind of can eat what I want, but, you know, it just cut down to limitations and just, you know what I mean? Um, like I said, I got a strength conditioning coach, man, that I work with week by week, you know what I mean? Like, at home, I you know I live in St. Louis, Missouri. You know what I'm saying? St. Louis. You know what I'm saying? And uh Yo, which for those who don't know. Treacherous. Man, it's rough out there. Yeah, it's treacherous, and I still live there to this day. You know what I'm saying? I come out to San Diego. I used to get a hotel, but now we kinda going up a little bit. I'm in an yeah. Airbnb now. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So yeah, bro. I, uh, yeah, St. Louis is, is is rough, man. And all we got on the corners is Chinese food restaurants. You know what I'm saying? Where they, you know, uh, you know, it ain't it ain't like California where you got a lot of healthy choices of restaurants that you can choose from. You know what I mean? And then like the lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? St. Louis, St. Louis, like like you say, it's rough, man. It's the trenches. It's the ghetto, man. It's you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I mean? I, I, I come out to San Diego for about five, six weeks, seven weeks. I, I'd, I'd have been out here eight weeks before. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I come out here and get it in. You know what I mean? And I actually brought my, my mom. You know, I got my dad with me. You know, he, he comes and assists me sometimes. You know what I mean? But he here with, he's here with me for this camp. But I brought my mom, my wife, my two sons. I got two sons. You know what I mean? I got a nine-year-old and a five-year-old boy. You know what I mean? My nine-year-old, we call him Little Big Shot because he's nice. He's nice. He's nice with his hands, too. You know what I'm saying? He ain't had no fights yet. He's going to probably fight the Silver Gloves next year. You know what I'm saying? And win that and start his little journey. But I really don't want him to box. But that's another subject. But, uh... Champ, but yeah, man, so just, wait, I got to ask because that's kind of the opposite of what most fighters do. They, they get away from their family and, and leave their family to... Get away well, from the distractions. What is it about being around your family that you feel helps you in camp? Well, this is the first time I did this. You mm. know what I'm saying? My family never been to San Diego. You know what I mean? And I felt like it was just a great opportunity. And then it's the holiday, you know what I mean? And I uh, I wanted to be around that love. You know what I mean? They they haven't been here for the full duration. They leave next Wednesday. You know what I mean? Um, but you know, just, just having your family out here, man, give you that extra push. They've been in the gym with me. You know what I mean? Motivating. You know what I mean? I don't have a I don't have a real big old team. I ain't got no A coach, B coach, C coach. I ain't got no I ain't got I ain't got no assistant to an assistant to an assistant. You know what I mean? But we make my shit we make our shit work. You know what I'm saying? Real deal raw skill. You know what I'm saying? Like real deal talent. You know what I'm saying? And hard work and dedication. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like I say, for this camp, you know what I mean? I feel like, you know, flying my family out here. You know what I mean? I, it, it's, it's better to be around that love. You know what I'm saying? But I usually come to camp and, you know, and dog it out without my family. I isolate myself. That's why I do come to San Diego. And my trainer, Coach Bashir, is out here. You know what I mean? I ain't really got no setup at home because, again, when I first turned pro, I was with Kevin Cunningham. And he left me to go to Florida. You know what I mean? And that kind of left me to fish 
out here by myself and I got with Bashi Abdullah. Why you ain't go to Florida, Florida with him though? He didn't take me with him. What you mean? He didn't. What we you, stopped. He what didn't, you mean take you with him? I mean, you got to have a conversation, but obviously he can't take you with him. Or, you know, I mean, he did have a fight house at one point, so I, I'm sure at one point, if you that was that was a that was a camp house. He only used it. He only rented that house out from a guy to use that when he had his high profile guys like yeah. like because that he fell out with Devin Alexander. That's like his son. So, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? He was trying to build a club, and motherfucker got killed in the club, and he burnt out of St. Louis. You know what I'm saying? He he stopped fucking with motherfucker from St. Louis, including me. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot. All that shit was a part of that situation with Al Heyman. They stopped mm -hmm. being kind of receptive to me, you know what I mean, because of Cunningham leaving. You know really? what I mean? I don't, yeah. Yeah, I had no I clue. I had no clue. Yeah. I, you know, obviously, you you you've, you've always addressed the Al Heyman stories as bro. Kinda, it was funny. It was funny. Your him dad, that. your dad. You you know, you always made it seem like but, your dad was the. the but no. Nah. But no, nah, but that's the thing. Cunningham had already said the reason why he stopped working with me was because of my dad. What? Which that was totally false. That was totally false. My dad, like in St. Louis, right? My dad works a nine to five. My dad is an IT specialist, a computer guy, computer programmer. You know what I'm saying? Like during the day when he's making his money, it is nine to five. So how, my dad was never in the way of me and Cunningham relationship. My dad brought me to Cunningham, which some fathers that's egotistical, they're like, well, I got my son. I bred and birthed him. And, you know, we're going to go to the top together. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people feel like, you know what I mean, Tefimo dad is a problem for Tefimo, but he living and riding with his pop. You know what I'm saying? He, he living and riding with being his son's ace trainer right now. You know what I'm saying? And that's most guys. Kenny Porter, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's a bunch of father-son relationships. That's, you know what I'm saying? Where fathers not about to let no other man come in and, you know, but you gotta today. admit, champ. You gotta admit that there's clearly some situations that work that are yeah. uh, father son, mm -hmm. and some that just don't. And sometimes they don't last. Jack Mosley, Shane Mosley, Floyd Mayweather, the, the uh, you know, Floyd you know Mayweather, what I'm Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? Right, Floyd Mayweather and Floyd Mayweather. Right. But what I'm saying is, it's like my dad was never a problem at all. My dad was, <laughs> my dad was at work. You know what I'm saying? Probably trying to find him some lunch on lunch break. You know what I'm saying? With me and Cunningham would work. So he was never in the way. And then once you create that narrative to those guys, and then, like I say, when you, what happened? Like when my dad goes off on the motherfucker like Sam Washington on the phone, they just like, oh, that just confirms what Cunningham talking about. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's how. That's how we started because of Cunningham, and like I say, it's 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 it's, it's number love to Hank, uh, not even Heyman, because Al Heyman didn't have nothing to do with it for real. It was Brad, it was Brad Owens and and, 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 and Sam Watson, you know what I mean, and uh, you know, uh, to those guys, Brad and, and Sam, much love and much respect coming from me and my dad. You know what I mean? We ain't got no problems with nobody. We ain't got no problems with. We ain't got no problems with Cunningham. That's just what I've been through. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like I say, um, you know, that's what kind of put that monkey wrench out there. And uh, Cunningham, he just backed up off everybody. You know what I mean? He was training with Devin for a little bit, but, you know, Devin was kind of going through that purpose, that situation and stuff. So, but, you know what I mean? Um, I'm with Bashir now. You know what I mean? And, uh, it's been beautiful every since, you know what I mean? Like, I was, I was, I, like, Cunningham tried to have me on strength and conditioning, like, for my first fight. But when Devin lost to Sean Porter, he took me and him off strength and conditioning. And he, he, he used the excuse of, you know, Floyd Mayweather don't use no strength and conditioning, you know what I mean? Just then at that time, 2013, 2014, you know what I mean? It was still like an adjustment on sports science to where now, 2022 that's just that's a part of sports and all you know what i mean in 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 every sport 
For sure. So, so when did you link up with Coach Bashir? In 2015, I had my first fight. I came out here. Uh, I fought April 25th because I was off for a whole year. I fought April 3rd. Like I was three I, when I was 21 years old. I was three and three knockouts coming out the amateur. I won two national championships. I was the alternate for the 2012 games, and then I was three and three knockouts. I just got signed with Al Heyman. I had just won the national pal like a week before I got signed. So a week later, like Cunningham, like shit, Al Heyman wants you to a five year contract. I'm like, shit, what do I sign? I just had a son. I just had a son. He was like nine, ten months at the time. I'm like, shit, where I sign it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? Let's do this like Brutus. And then like um, like I say, it was beautiful. I felt like shit, here it is. And I was three and three knockouts. Uh, April 3rd, 2014 was my last fight with them. And then I ain't fight again until April 25th, 2015. You know what I'm saying? Like a whole year off for a 21-year-old prospect, 3 and 3 knockouts. Like, you don't do that. You keep them rolling. You keep them busy. And then the weight and all of that stuff just started playing. And the more I stayed busy and kept fighting. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I, I got with Bashir. March 2015, um, had my had a six week camp out here in San Diego. Just when we first got together, you know what I mean. Came back and fought, you know what I mean. Uh, I dropped the guy twice, you know what I mean. But I ain't knock him out. I kind of hurt my hands in the fight. And then I, uh, the next fight, first round knockout. Next fight, first round knockout. And then I fought Danny Kelly on TV. I mean, that was my first, like, real broadcast fight, like, on national television. You know what I mean? And uh, me and Bob should have been rocking every since, you know? That's like an uncle to me. He's from St. Louis. He's from St. Louis, actually. And, you know, he grew up with my parents. You know what I mean? Sandbox, you know what I mean? Grade school. So it was only right. Do you feel that you find... I don't know. Do you feel like the Emmanuel Stewart teaching in him? He was under Emmanuel for like 17 years. Well, no, that's that's Bashir Ali. That's Bashir Ali. This is Bashir Abdullah. Oh. Bashir Abdullah. Listen, Bashir Abdullah, you, you guys know who Raquel Miller is? Of course. Yeah. That's, his tra- that's her trainer. Okay. I mean, I heard about the same trainer. You know what I mean? My boy, Steven Nelson, who actually... Uh, he was engaged to Raquel Miller at yeah. one point in time. You know what I mean? He was with Crawford's camp. He was out here with us. You know what I mean? But he went back to Omaha, you know what I mean? Because he was kind of splitting his camps up, coming, you know, with Bashir, then going to Omaha, you know what I mean? Colorado, get with them guys, and then, you know, link up with Bashir. But, like, you know, because Bashir just felt like it was best for him to just, you know what I mean, stay with those guys, you know what I mean? And, and, it's, and it's been great for him. You know what I mean? And Steve Nelson, that's my guy. Um, but Coach Bashir Abdullah, he was the four-time Olympic coach. You know, he was the one that was in the corner when Andre Ward won his gold medal. He was the head coach of that 2004 Olympic team. He was an assistant coach for the 2000 team. He was a technical advisor for the 2018. Then uh, a guy by the name of Joe Zanders was named the 2012 head coach, but the athletes didn't like him. And uh, all the athletes voted that uh, Bashir become their new head replacement coach because they liked Bashir or whatever. So, you know, he was the head coach of that 2012 team. But long story short, Joe Zanders kind of put it out there that Bashir had cornered a professional boxing match. I mean, a four-round boxing match. And USA Boxing and Aiba deemed him to not be in the corners during the games. So he had his assistants and everybody, you know, he had a couple guys that he had trained, I mean, that, yeah, that he had trained as former athletes in a world-class athlete program uh, in the Army. Uh, Coach Charles Leverett, Coach, uh, Coach, uh, I think his name Anthony Guzman. You know what I mean? Guzman, he, he worked with Keyshawn Davis and, you know, those guys. And uh, those were his protégés, and uh, they actually was assistants on the Olympic team and they cornered the guys. They didn't even allow Bashir to be in the corner. But like I said, Coach Bashir is a four time Olympic coach. So he 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 knows all of these guys. Like from the two thousand games to the two thousand twelve games. You know what I mean? 
I definitely like his website. Man. Yeah. He put yeah, in bro. a lot of time into this site. Uh, shout out to him. So this is the gym, yeah. the, the gym that you train out. It was called the Arena? Yeah, the Arena. The Arena uh, MMA gym is owned by a guy named Lucas. You know what I mean? Rich guy out here in San Diego. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, that's what we link at, man. That's what we... That's what we do out there, ain't it, man? So you got to bring in Spawn? Because this shit looks MMA heavy, champ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely got to bring in Spawn. There's definitely not a lot of guys here in San Diego. I definitely have to bring in Spawn, for sure. Hmm. You know what I mean? But most guys, most most camps got to bring in Spawn, fella. For sure. Unless yeah. you're in Vegas. Unless you're in Vegas. Unless yeah. you're in fucking Vegas. Unless you in fucking Vegas, the Mecca box. Yeah. That's why a lot of people move out here so they ain't got to pay for the spawn. I mean, sometimes yeah. you still got to, though. But yeah. a lot of times, you know, there's there's a, you know, there's always guys here. Uh, like, yeah. I just seen F.A. with Spawn Johnny. Yeah, Johnny Rice. Gym. Yeah. Yeah, like, Johnny Rice, like, when I was, uh, I actually was in camp with, uh, I think I was in camp with, uh, I think I was in camp uh sparring um i went to uh i wasn't actually in his camp i just traveled up there in norwalk when um when manny rovers was at uh legends boxing and i was sparring charles martin and uh johnny rice he was up there but he didn't want to spar me you know what i'm saying my my <laughs> Damn, dad i don't know i beat i beat johnny rice that was actually my last fight with pbc you know what i mean Damn, I that's see. crazy. You beat mm -hmm. Johnny Rice and, and your friend Polite, remember? Yeah, you remember, yeah, yeah. You I, was in camp with Polite too, right? No, no, no. You, you never know, met him down Wilders? No, no, no. They never had us down there the same week. What? That's so yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, I never met him. That's so no, crazy. I, I met y'all both there, but that's funny because that would have been alternating weeks and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like. Uh, remember when I when I first went down there, that was my first week coming to spar Deontay. But then they sent me home. They sent they sent me home, and that's when my dad, you know, went off on you know what I mean. Said what he said because he saw me working with Deontay. He saw like I was touching Deontay. And he like, man, y'all can't keep my son busy. What the fuck? You know what I mean, blah 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 blah. You know what I mean? And then, but they had already wanted me to come back because I gave him great work. And yeah. then that's the week that's that's the week I end up clipping Deontay. Like that following week. You know what I'm saying? By clipping you do mean just catching him, not clipping and dropping him. No, nah, like I no, nah, I ain't dropping but shit. He was shit, they Malik and Malik and my coach about shit, they told me to stop. Like shit, let him shake that shit off. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. have, when's the last time you've been back in camp? You think they'll use you again, or now I, I that did, you were top bro, rank, it would be an bro, issue? I, that was that was 2017 when I when, when we met. I just was in his lab. I've been in his camps ever since the Gerald Washington fight, the Bermain Savern fight, the, the second Savern fight, uh, both Luis Ortiz fight. I, I spar him Southpaw. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a primarily Orthodox fighter, and. Uh, I sparred him softball for the Luis Ortiz fight because I can. And uh what 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 uh the all three Fury fights, you know what I mean? I got him ready for all three Fury fights. I've been in each camp for all of this fight since Drill Washington. Mm -hmm. Even when I was with Todd Rank. Like I was just there, what, September? Nice for the Hellenius fight. And I seen I knew he was gonna knock out Hellenius because Hellenius was there helping him for the third Fury fight. You know what I mean? Yeah, but did and, you know uh, it was gonna happen like that? That was crazy though. But like I wasn't I was expecting I a more traditional wild to knock out. I seen him clip Hellenius. I seen him hit Hellenius like with a shot that's like like that he almost still kinda caught with the glove and that motherfucker buckled him. I'm mm -hmm. like, come on now, Robert, let me hop in there. You know <laughs> what I mean? And I hopped in there and finished the rounds with him. You know what I'm saying? Like I man, I be doing my thing down there, bro. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. What do you think of uh, Malik, since you know him intimately? What do you think of him being, you know, uh, positioned as the 
the head trainer, and, and, and do you see him taking Wilder to being two-time? Uh, yeah, I think it can happen. I think it can happen because, you know, Malik, Malik was a technical boxer, you know what I mean, classical boxer, you know what I mean, boxer puncher, and he could fight. I mean, he had some skills, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, the uh, philosophies that he tries to put off on Deontay, you know, it's hard teaching – uh, old dog new tricks but um you know i feel like helenis was the perfect guy to look good against especially coming back you know what i mean and then you know for deontay psychic this is a motherfucker that looked like fury so i just didn't took him out in one round you know what i mean so yeah. i feel like uh you know the stuff you know and just just the delivery and then the relationship that deontay and malik had you know what I mean, plays a big part into that. You know what I mean? They are they are very close. You know what I'm saying? Uh before before they even fought, they was calling each other brothers and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All that shit. But you know what I mean? Um I feel like I feel like uh Malik is, is definitely a, a you know, he's been he's been he's somebody that's been around greats like Al Mitchell. You know what I mean? He's 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 been around the, the Lennox Lewis camp. You know what I mean? He had what's my man name? Uh, um, was he around uh, Emmanuel too? Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. He was around Emmanuel and uh, all those guys, man. So you know what I mean? So he uh he definitely been around. You know what I mean? And uh, the philosophy that he tried to teach, that he tried to uh, impute on on Deontay, I feel like. You know, with you know Deontay making the right adjustments, they definitely can work. Yo, what do you think Deontay has to do in order for people to think he's back? Like, would it really, would it become champion? Okay, hmm. I'm like, would it really be that simple? Yeah, become cha- yeah, become champion or or knock off AJ or something. If he so fight I- AJ, he could take AJ out. You know the world would be like, oh, he's definitely back. You know what I mean? Champ, I got the Wilder fans very upset. They like, ooh, how y'all going to not ask him, did Wilder clip him? Wilder never clipped me, bro. Ah, there you go, Wilder fans. They they tight. Like, come on, man. How you going to say he clipped Wilder like he ain't never get clipped by Wilder? I ain't never got fucking clipped. That's <laughs> what I do, man. Like, I don't know. Like, boy, it's just... I be feeling like it's a conspiracy in the game or something, bro. Like, like, boy, I've been supposed to have been put out there. Like, I'm supposed to be talking about fighting higher guys. I, I need to be fighting the world champions. Like, how can Dylan White get an opportunity and get in that class of fighting Dylan White's and I still got to fight up and coming you guys mean Jer- for... You mean Jermaine Franklin because Dylan I mean, White... Jermaine, I mean Jermaine Franklin. You know what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I was saying. Like, Jermaine Franklin, like, who the fuck he fight? He ain't do nothing but beat Rydell Booker. And I beat him in way, I beat Rydell in way better fashion than Jermaine. Uh, uh, Rydell won rounds against Jermaine. Rydell was never in a fight with me. They could have stopped our fight, but it was up to the ref discretion. You know what I mean? Uh, um, and then and then also who else he 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 beat Jerry Ford. And he damn that. A lot of people thought he lost to Jerry Forrest. And Jerry Forrest can't fight. <laughs> what you mean he can't fight? You ain't see what he did with Zang Big Bang? All he did was just take some shots and come back and hold his head, like hold his head down, shoot that left hand, and it was able to kind of rock, you know, Big Bang. But Big Bang, Big Bang, I don't think Big Bang got the best chin, you know what I'm saying? But he did look decent in his fight with. Philip Hagerovich, you know what I'm saying? He kind of pushed Hagerovich to it. You know, but styles make fights. You know what I'm saying? But Big you Bang. Got, you got a mad, champ. That that the ch- Them Wilder fans mad in the chat. Now they saying, I bet this guy gets slapped by Frank Sanchez. Man, I sparred Frank Sanchez 15 rounds, man, when I was getting ready for the. 15 when straight? I was getting, well, no, nah, the first day we did like seven, and then the oh. next day we did eight, so. You know what I mean? But I was down there in camp with Frank Sanchez. Like, he couldn't touch me when I mean, he was working with, you know, Canelo was there. You know what I mean? They was asking, uh, what's the, Ramirez, he was, uh, how many rounds? 
is like uh you guys gonna do six because I said like can we do eight and then Canelo was like yes do eight he needs this telling like Frank needs this kind of work you know what mm. I mean they I was touching up Frank you know what I mean like why who you know it's just you know you got you got fans of these guys and this ain't no disrespect to Deontay Deontay don't know me they didn't went on record went on camera said I was the future heavyweight champion of the world they know what it is though they those are all my people down there they fuck with me and I fuck with them you know what I mean they know what I present have you gotten yeah, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on champ hold on because if Deontay said that Tyson Fury say Jerry's the future heavyweight champion of the world exactly that's a fight that gotta happen yeah. it's a <laughs> fight that gotta happen I know that's oh. your boy I'll push it aside though. Do you really in your heart believe it's you and him as far as the two guys in America that mm-hmm. uh is basically up to make you it and to the him. top? Right. That may, that that make it to that point. Yeah, for sure, bro. Hands down. But when Hands you say down. when you asking him that, are you saying like out of the new crop? Because yeah, exactly, exactly, out of the guys that haven't got the opportunity yet, out of the guys that yeah. haven't been able to challenge. I mean, yet. there's only three of them though. Him, Anderson, and Mike. Uh, Mike, Mike Hunter. Who? And Mike Hunter. Nah, he got his opportunity. He got who it. Is like, Mike, he, Mike he got, who? The, he owed the B- Booglagon or Balagon. Yeah, there you Man. go. Balagon, that's it. That's how you say Balogun. Yeah, Balogun, Mike Balogun. He old as hell. He old as hell, but you know, he he the top, uh, one of the top outside of you and Jared ranking Americans. Everyone else had an opportunity. Andy obviously got one in one and and now is uh, a back a former. Wilder is now a former. You know, Jermaine failed against Dillian. Um, Jared has obviously just stepped up against Jerry. Um, you know, you about to get your fight with uh, Vigianella. Martin already had his shot. Mike has not. Trevor had. Trevor Bryant has. Gerald Washington has. Gerald Miller has. Hasn't. You know, he fucked up his shot with the with the with the with the uh, you know, the yeah, There's the no juice. other American heavyweight other than um. My man Ronnie Hines, but like he ain't been getting no fights from uh Ohio. Then you got mm-hmm. Brandon Moore, but like I don't know Brandon like that. He's also yeah. from uh it's Florida. definitely man, it's definitely being uh big baby. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely Which one? Man, Hold man. on, you talking about Jared or you talking about Jared? Yeah, I know. Come on, yeah, I know who they the real big baby. Oh, <laughs> Nah, but uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking. I'm talking about Jared. I'm talking about Jared. You know what I'm saying? I like Jared. I, I think he can fight, but I feel like I ice him. Mm. What you hold on, champ? You ice him? Hold on, what you mean ice him, champ? Cause you ain't get the knockout over Rodell Booker. How you gonna knock out a dude that's 23 or 24? He's 22. Oh my God, that's eight years younger than you, champ. Ha <laughs> ha! Love the head shake. <laughs> What though? You gotta act. Come on, youth. Eight years of youth. I know that means eight years of experience, but that's eight years of youth. And you talking? To, you talking about a guy that was born and bred for boxing, ain't do shit else. What you trying bruh, to say? Shaw the, was too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, my granddaddy is Buddy Shaw. My granddaddy a legendary. Boxing I'm not coach. champ. I'm just no, saying. No, no, most these other guys. Most these other guys stepping in. All these other dudes. No, it's football, that, but. Yeah, that but he's saying, me. fuck all them. That ain't that him. Ain't me. Right. That ain't me. Just like oh. he, he didn't got oh. in there with some football players. He didn't got in there. Deontay, everybody didn't got in there with some football players. Not many guys didn't got in there with bread born fighters. You feel me? I mean, and that's what he is. That's How many exactly, amateur man. fights, champ? How many amateur fights for these guys that don't know? Man, I had. I had. About 60 amateur fights. You know what I'm saying? I had a bunch of amateur fights. I won the National Civil Gloves. I won the Ringside. I won I won all that stuff. I won the USA Nationals. I won the National Pal. You know what I'm saying? I did all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? I did all it. You know what I'm saying? 
born and bred, born and bred for this shit. Born and bred for this shit. I've been in boxing since I was four years old, bro. Damn. I've been had the gloves on my hands just like a Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? Just so just like, to clarify, champ, the icing part. <laughs> I just want to be. Bro, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, so, hold on, so, hold on, because you from you from obviously St. Louis, yeah. he from Chicago, I'm from Jersey, the East Coast. So for me, icing mean he going to sleep. Word. Uh, oh, that's well, what it mean for you too. Yeah. So what it mean for you? Shit, I'm gonna take him to school, beat him, oh, ice him, man. knock him out, whatever. Like I ain't gonna. Yo, I'm coming with my thunder, bro. I'm coming with my thunder. Like, bro, like, man, bro. Y'all it's thunder. See? Oh, yo, I, I ain't hear that in a minute. I'm coming with my thunder. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's just, yo, bro, I feel like it's a conspiracy. Like, I be Nah, but like, look, because you said that before, so I got to let you know. Obviously, it's not a conspiracy, you know what I mean? Like, you signed to Lou. No, nah, but that's what I'm. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Like, bro, Lou DeBell, Like, bro, Lou DeBella wanted to keep me up. My manager told me to sign back with Lou because Lou would have tried to put me in court. Like, it's a lot of bullshit in this shit, bro. But that's what I'm like, saying. It's not a conspiracy. Is is just decisions that you made. You know, it would have been a great decision. Lou was in a great position. He was promoting the biggest heavyweight in the world at the time. It's just that he had a falling out, and that fucked up his television dates. But you know Lou was popping in Brooklyn. He had PBC dates. He was doing his thing. But I had already, like, the shit with Al Heyman had already happened, though, between me, with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then... Like, bro, they ain't trying to give me no little small time. I was supposed to fight for the USBA title last year. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, they offered me a fight, like, like on Triller. I could have fought. I could have fought on Triller. I could have been, like, it's a lot of things. Like, the matchmakers felt like they didn't want to put me in there with uh, with uh, Trey Lippy Morrison because they felt like I would have blew him out in one round. And then Mike Balligan ended up blowing him out of one round. Why you ain't give me that? Why you ain't give me that? Why they ain't give me that out of you? Why they ain't give me a Jerry? Why, look, 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 no, for real. Why they ain't, me and Jerry Ford is both with the Bella. Why they ain't give me Jerry Ford? Why they ain't give me. Because he need, he need a TV network to want to pay for the fight. So it's like ESPN ain't going to pay for a fight where neither guy is not signed with them. But now you signed with, with, with ESPN, so it's different. But back then, was, was, was Cooper Puller signed with ESPN top rank when he fought uh, Rodell on top rank? Yeah, because he got two fights, didn't he? He fought Rodell and someone else. I'm about to check. I'm pretty sure well, he, he fought, fought someone uh, else on, on top rank but, uh, after or before Rodell. A bigger fight, right? You looking it up? Yes, I am looking it up. Uh, he yeah, fought, right before fought. that, right before that. Bye, right Don. Before. Bye, Don Dino. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Off the one law, and keep. Hey, no, 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 no. Wait, but wait, but no, wait, because it ain't I'm about, it ain't I'm about, gonna... it ain't about who he is. It's more about their story building. Keep in mind, at that time, they had the other big baby, who beat back Don Dino on Matchroom, and 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 gave him his first law. So that was a good fight for Pulev. He was coming off only one loss back Don Dino. So it's story building, champ. Ooh. Ah, he hey, yawned, he yawned. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. That was, uh, <laughs> it just, I don't know, man. I'm ready for whoever, whenever, bro. Yo, my contract, you, my contracts are already been signed, though. Have you worked with uh, Jeremiah Milton? Nah, man. I, <laughs> Yo, what the fuck, Yo, You on one today? What the? I just said if you worked with him, damn. Nah, nah, I never worked with him, bro. But I mean, uh, bro, he in Vegas, you would say you might need sparring. He's been to San Diego he, he a lot. He sparred Fury. He sparred Dubois. He sparred Johnny Rice. Frank. He sparred Frank who? Sanchez. Sanchez. Like, he be out here getting that work. He got a couple of viral love. knockouts. Bro. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you woke up on one today. What, what do that mean, champ? Bro, like, 
He he, he, he some good work for me, huh? I'm saying when when what? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, Shaw. You you taking this the wrong way? Cause when you was like, oh and four. I mean four and oh. Wilder brought you in and you was good work. I was eight. No, I'm not. I'm I'm different. <laughs> it's got terrible. My bad. You right. You right. I'm but different. you got. You don't know if Je I'm just trying to help Jeremiah. He up and coming. No, you know. I, I would love. I, give me his contact. I would love to bring him to camp for this next week. Or a week and a half, you know what I'm saying, and uh, get some work with him. Y'all got his contact? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, and you I know, wasn't saying it. I'm not saying it because I seen him spar and this dude's an animal. I'm just you local, and he an up and comer. Yeah. Like that's what Wilder did for you. I'm sure you got some up and comers in in your camp. The dude Jeremiah Milton that fought on that court when, when I when I beat when I stopped uh, Joy the Waco. The dude from uh, the jury is there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. Where was this personality at? They probably would have had you a main event a long time ago. My man said, <laughs> when I started, they ain't never put the cameras, bro. They ain't never, they ain't never put the cameras. That's why I say, bro. They only had the cameras on me once, bro. They don't, they don't, I ain't, you know, like the most interviews I do is interviews like this, bro. It's you know all right, your man. time gonna come. You gotta knock out Guido ass, send him back to Italia, and everybody gonna know. For sure. Champ, For that sure. is all our questions. I'm gonna refresh on the peoples, but please give out your social media. A lot of these guys didn't know who the fuck you was. This is insane to me. They like, yo, you who's this? That? Yeah, the, the Wilder fans like, who's this dude? I'm gonna check his box rack. They mad, they big mad now, you 18 and 0, 13 KOs. <laughs> man, it's a whole, like, Everybody that's close to Wilder know who I am, though. Like my man, like the uh, what what what's the uh, what's the LDBC? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, uh, what uh, BFTB? My man Tay Jones. All of them, they know who I am. Come on, they they fuck with me. Wilder, Wilder camp, man. That, what I say, Tuscaloosa is like my third home, bro. Like the whole, like I be getting my hair cut at the local little barbershops and shit, like. You know what I'm saying? Wild, I'd have been over at Wilder House for for Thanksgiving and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'd have chilled and talked to his kids. And, you know what I'm saying? Like met his aunties and met his mom, met his dad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like my peoples, bro. Like they know what it is. But uh, my my social medias, you can follow me on uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Big Shot Shaw, B I G S H O T S H A W. Then you can follow me on Instagram. It's the same, uh, Big Shot Shaw. Um, and then you can follow me on on Facebook. I got a, a fan page, Stephen Big Shot Shaw. And then I got like a little personal page, uh, Stephen Jabari Shaw. That's my full government man. You know what I mean? Jabari means brave yeah. in Swahili. Talk to me. What was the Twitter again? Big Shot Shaw. Cause Jerry said you ain't replied to nothing he said on Twitter. Oh. He Cause he's busy me. doing an interview. Tell Jared jump on. Let's get tell this him jump shit on. Oh, he said tell him jump on. I ain't even had. To, I mean, I did say it, but Jared gonna be like, "Yo, Ness can't come back to camp. He messy." <laughs> I did respond. He, uh, somebody respond. Somebody said. Uh, somebody said. Uh, a lot of people talking about that fight. A lot of people saying, you know, he need to fight. Big shot, shot. You know what I'm saying? Big Shaw Shaw and Big Baby would be a great fight. You know what I'm saying? And then he, he come in, he like 14 and 0, 14 knockout. Like he'll knock me out. Like, nigga, please. <laughs> Yo, champ, the confidence, dude. This has been a good camp for you, huh? Bro, this is. Uh, yeah, January 14th, I fight. I'm ready. Just tune in. I'm, I'm, I'm about to do my thing, man. Period. Is this the same conversation you had with them top ranked matchmakers? They know how you feeling. They know you dying and showed it that, that you the truth. I don't even got no kind. I don't even talk to them people. Them okay. people that talk. They, that's what I'm saying. Like, like I don't, they don't. They don't call me. They ain't talking to me personally. I'm going through my manager Dave McWater through 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 all of this stuff. He handling all my business. I wish I. I wish I. They ain't. Yo, bro, they ain't, they ain't personal with me like they are with them other guys. You know what I mean? For some reason, 
I mean, I mean, after January 14th, I, I'm sure, I'm sure more more than one person's gonna have an, a, a, a manner of calling you. But champ, I do appreciate you coming on, spicing it up. Uh, yeah. You know, making the this call out to Jared. He said, he said you want a cat fight. He said he passing out gifts to the kids at the J Prince complex right now in Houston, Texas. Oh, so he's busy basically. That's what, I don't want a cat fight, bro. Y'all just brought that shit to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 just waking up early in the morning. Shit, I'm I'm with my motherfucking real kid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me tell y'all. I'm, 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 I'm with I'm with my real motherfucking kids. You know what I'm saying? I'm passing out gifts to these boys. You know what I'm saying? This my this my this my oldest boy right here. How old Say is what's he? Up. He nine. Okay. Say what's good. What up, young champ? And then this my five year old. I kill a motherfucker for them. So stop playing with me. Them your only two, champ? Yeah, these my only two. And like I say, I'll kill a motherfucker for them. I'll lay some down for them. Mm. So stop playing with me. Champ, Kid. January 14th, man. Lay my man Guido down so we get this bread and, and, and get your yes, name sir. out there to the rest of the world. Let them know that you new heavyweight in town. And I want to say I appreciate y'all, man, for giving me this platform to speak my piece and talk, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't come on here to talk shit. This ain't no heavy shit. This ain't no... Oh, he just talking shit. No, I, you know, you just, just want me, to, you just want to prove your your your, your worth, man. I, we yeah, did it, and then I, and I hate that it's happening. You know, like I said, I've been pro since twenty one, and it's fine. Like I'm, I just turned thirty. Like you know, what I'm saying, but shit, I'm seasoned, and I'm I'm primed for uh for 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 for, for what's about to happen, man. And uh, I feel great, man. January fourteenth, tune in, bro. Champ, appreciate you, man. Thank you once again. Can't wait. We gonna definitely set something up. Um, yes, sir. Right, so I'm gonna text you. I'm gonna text you. Uh, no, actually, oh, oh, you text you me about, you the days that you are yeah. gonna get to Big Bear. Big Bear, because that's closer Big for Bird. us to drive from here to Vegas. I get I get to Big Bear December twenty. I get to Big Bear December twenty eighth or December 29th. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I got a little crib out there already. You know what I'm saying? That's uh that we already been paid for so. We'll be All there right. next week. So we definitely gonna make them plans to get out there, man. We appreciate you. And I'll send you that information for Jeremiah. Thank you. I appreciate y'all, man. Thank All you. right. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Big shot Shaw. Let's go. YouTube family, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million. And obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.